Hi everybody, my name is Kim Hewitt and I'm helping out with Project One. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how this particular course reviewing project is similar to the one that you did in the previous course with the Henry County Schools and how it is different from it and you know, kind of explain why we thought that it would be beneficial to do another course reviewing project. Um, so I'm going to just kind of go over some of the differences and similarities and then through that I think that you'll begin to see that, that they're not the same. Um, last semester's project we gave you a lot more time and we gave you a lot more structure. There's a lot of structure in this project but there are ways in which we are um, sort of giving you more discretion, we're releasing you from from some of the shackles of the you know, firm structure of things. For example, the final presentation in this project, we're going to leave that up to you to figure out how you're going to express to the client that is the um, development specialists, that's what they're called at Georgia Virtual School, and they're kind of like instructional designers, um, how you're going to talk to them about, about what you as a group um, saw in that course and what you think needs to be um, improved. So that's one example in which, of a way in which the, the course is, the, the project is different. We really babied you kind of and told you to exactly what to do in the previous um, course. And this one, again, we want you to step up a little bit more as the distance, educational prof dis distance education professional and make some decisions of your own and what you think is appropriate. The previous project took longer. This one's going to be finished in five weeks over a long semester. Um, the previous project, we were looking at locally made um, content, um, online content, online and blended. It was sort of homemade by teachers that are that don't have a lot of time, they don't have a lot of training, and they really needed some basic feedback from you guys. They needed to know, you know, that maybe they needed a syllabus in their course, or they needed to know that they're. Um, that the, an online module didn't make any sense whatsoever. So you were looking at, you know, every each course that, that we were looking at in the Henry County Project, you know, each course is very different and variable. I think you're going to find when you look at these Georgia Virtual School courses that, that they um, are very slick and that they follow more of a template and it's going to be harder for you to find things or areas in which the course may need to be improved. So the challenge will be different and the audience is different because these are not, these are professionals who are full-time employed by the Georgia Virtual School. These courses go through a nine-month development process and that's all these people do. So they, they have been working on it. Let's see, the development process began in July and August and we're here in January. So they've been working on these courses for at least six months now. It's very different. Um, that's that's another difference. Uh, of course, with the Henry County Project, we were using the INACOL standards for K-12 online courses, and we've decided to introduce you to a new set of standards, the Quality Matters standards, um, just to give you some exposure to another way of thinking about quality in an online or blended course. And we really like these standards, and the cool thing about the Quality Matters program is that if you go to the website you can learn more about it but you can get certified in the QM standard there's higher ed versions of the standards we're using the, the K through 12 with the 6th grade through 12th grade standards and you can get certified in those as well and they have a conference every fall so it's just another organization another professional organization in the field that we thought that you should learn about and we sh you should learn about their definition of quality and they borrow heavily from INACOL and from the people that INACOL borrowed from and so they're all they're all friendly like but it's a different way of seeing a course um, we're also less concerned this semester with your experience in the content in fact we're not really that concerned at all whether or not you've had experience teaching for example mythology or risk management or whatever the course may be there may be a little more of a problem with like calculus that's a little bit uh, it may not be as accessible to everybody but because the courses are so well designed, the thing that we want to look at is is the design, the navigation, is the course engaging, things like that, things that you can see whether or not you, you know, perhaps teach the course. There are things that you can see and you can tell about good design practice. So we want you to to assume 
the perspective of maybe not the person that teach, would teach this course, but of a, just a, an outsider. You're an outside pair of eyes. Um, you really may not even come to the course with any expectations um, or preconceptions about how it should be designed because you haven't, you probably haven't taught any of these courses. It could be a, ca a few cases where people have. But um, as this course progresses, uh, students in this course will include nursing students. And you know, I'm, I'm sure there's not a whole lot of nurses who have taught mythology or um, some of these other options that we've got this, this semester. Um, American history, although they probably would know a lot about food and nutrition through the lifespan. But um, as Dr. Hewitt was talking to me yesterday, my husband Jason, um, he said a good course is a good course. And we think that you're going to be able to determine that and we want, to, we want you to use the QM standards to try to come up with a good evaluation for that. And um, we just re we really thought that this would be a good, a good additional experience in your whole uh, three course um, series for those of you that are going through the three course sequence. And um, we also feel that this, this project complements um, the other two projects that follow in the semester. So. Uh, I hope that makes things clear. Let us know if you have any questions, and I hope you enjoy Project 1.